Hello and welcome everyone, this is Type V3 with an action figure review of the SH Figuarts Tamashi Mix, Zenogre. A special figure produced from artist Takayuki Takeya's original interpretation of the Zenogre armor from the Monster Hunter video game series. Opening the box, you get the figure, two pairs of hands, two claws, an axe, a rock base, and two other pieces which you'll need to attach to the back side of the figure to complete its look. With the SH Figuarts Zenogre being an all original design, it would be pointless for me to make a direct comparison between this and the actual in-game armor. With that in mind, this is a gorgeous toy. The meticulously sculpted samurai-inspired body has been fully covered in a diverse mix of metallic and glossy paints. The gold and blue armor give a sharp and bold appearance, with the lilac chest and hair offering a softer contrast. Finally, it's all topped off with a light weathering of black ink for the perfect worn-in look. The paintwork is so good that you could easily be fooled for thinking that this was comprised of more than just plastic. However, I can't get over just how much detail has been packed into the sculpt. The definition throughout is immense, oozing bits of character here and there. The artistry is astounding for a figure that only stands at 6 inches tall. Yet, the biggest achievement here is that despite being a completely original design, this is still unmistakably a Zenogre armor, and would fit as naturally in-game as it does on a toy shelf. For accessories, there's the switch axe with its matching straight and angled hands, along with the display base. These items all match the level of presentation set by the figure and look outstanding. The end of the axe detaches to make attaching the hands much easier, though I'll be honest, the weight of the weapon makes it nearly impossible to hold without any external assistance. Of course, as hinted in the name, the switch axe can transform. With a couple of basic hinges and slides, it can switch into a scythe. It's a pretty neat gimmick. As for the base, there's a single white peg which matches up with the peg holes underneath the figure's foot. Unfortunately, with only one peg, you'll just have to balance the other foot as you see fit. There's also a couple of indentations that suggest where the switch axe can be placed for an optimal display. For articulation, the neck has double ball hinges with the front hair pieces on ball joints, and the rear hair can adjust as well. The torso and waist are both on large ball hinges. There's independent shoulder pads with the shoulders themselves on ball sockets that can swing forward. There's a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and ball hinge wrists. The side skirts are on ball sockets, and the rear bow can be adjusted with its multiple hinges. There's pull-down ball socket hips, a thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and ball hinge ankles. There's plenty of articulation on Zenogre. That said, the armor does tend to make things cumbersome, and I wish it had die-cast feet to give it more stability in extreme poses. Now the figure has one final trick. Inspired by the actual Zenogre monster, you can display it in its awakened or charged state with the use of its last pair of accessories, his large claws. They look brilliant, especially with their clear yellow pieces. Attaching them is simple as they easily replace the existing forearm guards on the toy. From here, connect the bow to form a circle, and lastly, remove the chest plate and the mask. In this form, the figure looks far more ferocious, especially with the unmasked face resembling the skull of a wolf. The only drawback is that the arms are now too heavy and large to pose in any meaningful way. The Tamashi Mix Zenogre is one of the most intriguing and exciting releases to arise from the SH Figuarts toy line in recent memory. It's essentially the reimagining of a character from an established series by an independent artist, all in toy form. And I think Bandai's nailed it here. From the outset, this is a jaw-droppingly gorgeous figure, and it's packed with enough details and neat accessories to light up Monster Hunter fans. However, the artistry behind this toy also serves as its biggest flaw. It feels like it started out as an incredible drawing and then had all the joints pasted onto it without any consideration for how it would be affected by the armor design. Zenogre always feels like it's working against you when posing, with the heavy accessories only adding to the issue. In fact, everything in the box encourages you to display the figure in the only possible pose that the rock base allows, almost as if this were a statue. Then there's the price. At nearly $100, this isn't for a casual collector. Put all these pieces together, and it doesn't add up to a good toy. Not at all. Instead, what you have is a great display piece. Whether or not that's what you're looking for, only you can answer. But that's all from me. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next review.